hi i am dr sergil and you are watching my youtube channel today i would like to show you yet another case of fecal emulsification now in this case i will show you my modified tilt rotate and chop technique now fecal emulsification is one of the most common of thalamic surgical procedure it has a long learning curve each and every step is extremely important but two steps are universally agreed to be the most difficult to master one is capsulorexism and other is fecal emulsification in this video though i will show you full case from start to end as you can see but our main focus uh, is on my modified rotate modified tilt rotate and chop technique which is one of the safest technique to avoid posterior capsular rupture i am using it for the last four to five years and with this technique chances of posterior capsular rent are almost non-existent and it is 100 percent almost 100 percent eliminated I am using with LS100 Zeiss FECO machine in this case with 50% FECO power, 350 vacuum and 25 flow rate. Now you can see that uh, now I am performing uh, capsulorexes. So capsulorexes has been done and now I am performing the hydro dissection. Now very gently enter the anterior chamber with the FECO probe in order to avoid decimate detachments. Now after, now first aspirate all the cortical matter and air bubble in the anterior chamber. Put the second instrument. Now we have aspirated all that. Now slowly and gently try to engage the phaco tip at six o'clock inferiorly into the nucleus bury it slightly and then elevate the inferior edge of the nucleus now there is a large space between the nucleus and posterior capsule so safely place the second instrument dialer or chopper behind the nucleus and chop the inferior nucleus piece like this slowly you are very safe and far away from the posterior capsule to induce rents but to constantly constantly elevate the nucleus with the phaco probe you need to have sound control of foot pedal because in my modified technique of tilt rotate and chop most of the braking is achieved in a vacuum second foot pedal step if you don't have sound control and press the pedal further phaco will start and nucleus will fall so you can see how i tilt the nucleus forward rotate it and chop it with force from backwards to forwards so you also eliminate risk of pcr because if you force the chopper as a routine from front to back it may tear posterior capsule critics say that as you do phaco little bit anteriorly there is increased chance of damage to the cornea and corneal decompensation can occur well i am performing i am doing phaco with this technique in la for the last four years and i have not uh, encountered a single case of uh, bullous keratopathy because uh, when you try when you divide the nucleus into many pieces uh, then within a blink of a second uh, in a phaco mode you uh, emulsify all the pieces uh, and you can use lot of viscoelastic a good viscoelastic uh, in order to prevent the cornea cornea is more resilient as compared to the PCR. So now we are we have inserted the foldable IOL and we have before that we have removed the cortical sheets. So I hope that in this video I have shown you my technique of modified tilt rotate and chop technique and if you apply this you will almost uh, remove the chances of PCR. Now that's the first uh, post-op uh, pick and you can see that the cornea is shining though we have done anterior phaco. Thank you very much.